And good morning! And good morning! We are saying good morning again from Marbella. We have had a long road trip. Well, we've done a lot of secret stuff, so you're gonna catch on to everything soon. But, main, main most important thing is that George is ready and we're working on his mm -hmm. presentation. So while we're working on this, I figured, I was telling Benny about all these crazy car memories I had when we were driving. So then I'm like, we should really do a car memory vlog because I have so many good and bad memories yeah. and fun things. Mm -hmm. So today's vlog, crazy memories I have with cars. So first one, I tried to start as old as I could. So we're gonna try to do it in a timeline with like really old stuff coming to newer, kind of in that way. Mm -hmm. And the first memory is me sucking on a road trip. It was uh, a long trip and we had a Gallardo which had a gearbox that just didn't like us. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. This is hope. <laughs> we are going forward. Our gearbox is broken. We are going from Germany to Denmark and I don't think we're gonna get home today, which sucks because I have driven 1600 kilometers after sleeping three hours, I'm hungover. This really sucks. It has been raining and I'm tired. Please let us come home. Look at this. Bleak, bleak, bleaky, red, red, red. Alright. Whoa! Alright, we are gonna get off the ferry. Then, question is will this car shift into second gear? Ah, we could always go first gear all the way to uh, Stockholm. Oh yeah, we're oh. in second. Party time. Stockholm, here we come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we didn't end up shooting the end of that whole thing, but it ended in a way where from the Danish border up to Stockholm, 650 kilometers, I had first and fifth gear on the Lambo, and we managed to get it to Stockholm, and then realized the gearbox was completely broken, and I had to buy a new gearbox. So not the best of road trip memories, but hey, it's a day I remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next clip is, it's actually the clip on YouTube that has the most views on my account. It's a bit more of a fun time with the same Lambo, but with a near, new gearbox. So today we're gonna find out how does this baby like snow? I'm praying that it likes to start because it got a lot of snow. Oh. Now we just gotta dig her out some more. I do have a wrap on this car so the paint job feels okay. Feels weird though. <laughs> Stop laughing, Oscar. I feel like an idiot. I guess I am an idiot. Luckily, that clip ended good. Everything was good about that day, so it's nice. I've had a lot of problems with cars, but that was one of the good ones. And then, a funny story about this clip. Me and Oscar Bakke shot this, and we didn't think we had enough good shots to even make a video. And then Oscar, about a year later, went through his old stuff, and he's like, you think I should make an edit to this? I'm like, ah, I don't know. He's like, yeah, I'll make one anyway. And that ended, ended up being our biggest YouTube video so far. So what do we know what you guys like? I have no idea, apparently. And the next one. A very, very, very old clip that I don't think many people have seen. It is the first version of the Rebellion, and this is the morning of when we were supposed to leave for Gumball, and it was also the first time the car started up its engine. So we're rolling out of the garage 12 hours before we're in Stockholm, Gumball started in London. So what we were thinking about not even testing a car before going to Gumball, that's the dumbest someone's ever done. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. 
As you see, I mean, the car was like absolutely wild. 962 horsepower, sequential gearbox, insane, but nowhere near complete enough to do a gumball with. So uh, the biggest problem we had was that the top gasket of the engine was leaking. So we had air into the uh, water system and the mother well, the engine was kind of broken. So then me and Oscar had to grab another car and drive straight from Stockholm to the start of Gumball. And that was, we were pretty tired at that point. And then the next clip, that's like five days later um, driving during Gumball. And this is one of my favorite clips on my channel because I had such a good time that day. It was me, Bodie Miller, Warner Nickerson. Uh, no, Warner wasn't there yet. He came later. Um, Leif Christian Haugen and Tukan, a Swedish friend of mine. And we were driving pretty hard that day. So my favorite clip of probably my whole YouTube channel. when you drive fast is that sometimes you end up getting caught. How much were we doing? The, I mean, we weren't going any faster. 210. What about the guys that was like How much? passing us? 222. Fuck. I think yeah, I'm really good. I must see that one. Croatia. So we're, tr we're trying to keep it legal here. And then this, this really fast motorcycle thing comes really up in the fast. back. So I'm like kind of chilling and he goes like this and I start hammering at it. And I'm totally thinking I'm winning the race until he puts on his blues <laughs> and pulls me for 222. <laughs> entrapment, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Total entrapment. Totally the entrapment. Holy shit, dude. Mike Porter. Where is this video? Where's your hammer, son? There, it's sitting there. It's sitting there. <laughs> Am I the winner? 220? 220. Dude, that was you pushing me. But the police guy was actually super, super nice. And even though we don't have video of it, the big police chief that came and picked us up, he's like, oh, very nice car. We're like, yeah, but we have a thousand kilometers to go, so can we just pay and, and, and go? He's like, ah, oh, you in a hurry. I was like, nah. He's like, you give me a ride in the Lambo, I give you free speed for police station. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, ah, no problem. So he goes out on his like police bike with the blue lights on. I wish we filmed this, but we, weren't, we couldn't do it. So he goes out with the police bike, blue lights, start doing 250. The race bike that caught us, behind us. So, so we're three gumbo cars doing 250 in a, in a police escort. And we're like, this is just not happening. This is insane. So we're catching up to other gumballers and it was just like, they're like, who are you? Like, do you know the president? And we're like, no, we just met a really cool police. Cause we were nice and respectful. And yeah, it was awesome. And then the next clip is on our way home from Istanbul on that very same gumball. Uh, we woke up in Istanbul like super tired. Most gumball teams, you know, they had their concierge. Oh, here's your transport, sir. How you do this? And like, you know, they woke up and then they flew out. We woke up like dead. 
And then we're like, I guess we go to Stockholm. So we go in Istanbul, we type in Stockholm on the GPS and we start driving. It was like 3,700 something kilometers. And you know now how long 2,200 is. Yeah. The problem we had though is that I didn't have papers for the cars. I only had a photocopy and it was like water damage. So I was really unsure whether I was getting out of the country at all. So we, we somehow had the GPS took us to this one like super ghetto border crossing dirt road. And then we're like, oh man, this is not good. And then the border guy like he stamps the papers like you're good to go. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, big problem. And he drew like a V with water. I'm like, what do you mean? And then this happened. So this clip would have been longer if it wasn't for the guy with the machine gun yelling at Oscar that he would like shoot him if he kept filming. But yeah, the only way um, out of Turkey to Greece on that border crossing was through a river. But we just wanted to get home. So we took the Lambo and we went straight and through. Probably one of the stupidest things I've done. But when you do all these road trips that are this long, you just stack up on a lot of, mm, let's call them interesting memories. And then the next car, we're moving on to the Audi R8 supercharged full wide body carbon fiber body, probably one of the most expensive builds I've ever done. We changed everything on that car and uh, it was sick, but it wasn't really 100% perfect. Like the, we always had some problems with the suspension and stuff, but we still had some great times with it. And uh, we're gonna show a couple clips of this. Let's put subtitles on the police or the border crossing man that was not uh, amused by our donuts at the gas station. Okay, think of an excuse quick. Spanish or Deutsch? No, English. Uh, French, if not? No, German. No, I don't speak, sorry. Yeah, ja, Monte Carlo. Yeah. No, alles gesund, or what? I don't speak German. Yeah, da vorne eben, den Kreis gedreht. Uh, sorry, my, my tire net go there, because I've been doing a long distance. Yeah, so yeah. Mom is weiner. I don't speak German. Yes. I don't know what you're saying. I think the car will let, let us stand here. You saw the car now? No. Excuse me, people! Where is the highway? For once, that was one of the long road trips. It was Stuttgart to Stockholm, and we did not have a single problem. Well, besides the custom thing, but of course, everything was running perfect, and it was so fun to drive with Mass. Mass, you're a great driver if you watch this, and we had such a fun time with this LP570. So, great trip, super fun. Okay, now we're moving on. We've had a lot of summer stuff. We're moving on to a bit of winter stuff that me and Krill, the original editor of the video blog, was shooting in one of my favorite cars ever, the Nissan GTR. And this is us having a lot of fun between Val Gardena and uh, Alta Badia in Italy. Ready for this, Krill? driver's gonna keep going, get his skis fixed, and uh, we'll see you out there in the uh, ice skating rink tomorrow. That was awesome. Yeah. And a fun fact about the Nissan GTR is that I drove the Nissan GTR from November through April, pretty much only on snow, sideways. I drove it 60,000 kilometers. So when you think we drive a lot, like for a few years, I was, you know, I was around 100,000 kilometers per year. 
every year. So we drive a lot. But it was one of, one of my favorite cars. It just kept running and loved it. And then, of course, it wouldn't be like a car video without the famous RS6. The, you know, 900 and something horsepower, wide body DTM, crazy gold turbo RS6 that Stepman Motorsport built. And let's start with a few clips of that thing so you can hear the magic sound and how fun it was to drive it in the snow. I was also an uber taxi driver for a day so anyone could book the Audi RS6 so I was a full-on taxi driver for a day and it was really fun to just pick up people and see their reaction of being inside this car what will we walk out And I think that is going to conclude uh, today's uh, memory vlog. I hope you guys liked it. It, it. For me, it's so fun when I look back at this and I'm like, I've done a lot of long trips, a lot of problems, and but it always comes out as good memories. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We are now going to get to work on George's presentation. So make sure to check back tomorrow afternoon and we're going to hopefully add some more car memories to this. So over and out from Arbea and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.